batch. A batch is a group of things. This word is most commonly used when making food. Vanessa took a batch of cookies out of the oven. After she removed the first batch of cookies from the oven, she put in a second batch. This recipe makes eight batches. Tom is making a batch of cupcakes. The brewery makes small batches of beer because it wants to maintain the quality of its product. This hummus came from a very good batch. The word batch can be used for things other than food. Our office usually receives a large batch of mail during the holidays. A new batch of students will graduate from the school in June. These two rolls of wallpaper look like they're the same, but they're actually from two different batches. The floor tile that was laid by the installers is all from the same batch. A batch file is created by computer programmers who want to duplicate a routine task. Bath. A person who washes the body with soap and water takes a bath. He's taking a bath. He's sitting in a bathtub. Do you take a bath or do you prefer to take a shower? Kids need to take baths regularly, even though they may resist. The word bathe is a verb. Notice that the addition of the E at the end of bath changes the vowel sound. To bathe can include showering. He's bathing in hot, soapy water. People who bathe regularly require a good source of clean water. Her bathing habits include a hot shower before she leaves for work. Cats don't need to take baths. They bathe themselves. Battle. A battle is a fight. It could be part of a war or a non-military conflict between groups or individuals. A battle between Republicans and Democrats in the U.S. Congress has resulted in a shutdown of the government. The Battle of the Bulge was a famous battle fought in Belgium during World War II. The soccer match we watched was an interesting battle between two great teams. A disagreement between two gangs ended in a street battle involving guns. The people who were opposed to the development of a high-rise building lost their battle against the developers. The battle between the sister and the brother resulted in a draw. No one won. After several years of battle, the two sides finally reached an agreement and signed a truce. The battle at sea lasted for hours. 
This word is also used as a verb. Contestants battled it out during the competition. Syrian rebels continue to battle against the government and against each other. The bicyclists are battling to get ahead of each other. Those two companies have been battling each other in the marketplace for over two decades. Bear. Bears are large mammals that can be found all around the world. There are black bears, brown bears, and grizzly bears. Polar bears are found in cold areas near the Arctic Circle. Teddy bears and stuffed bears are popular among children. The word bear can also be used as a verb. In this case, it means to tolerate, withstand, or endure. Sheila can't bear to live without her husband. John can't bear the pain from a toothache. How much pain can you bear? Many people can't bear to live in areas with extremely cold weather. It's hard to bear the death of a family member. To bear something also means to carry or support weight or responsibility. Inside the walls of your home are beams and joists that bear the weight of the building. You can't entirely remove a load-bearing wall. The President of the United States bears the burdens and daily challenges of his position. The owner of the company bears the responsibility for the safety of his workers. She has a lot of responsibility to bear. The word bear is similar to the verb have when describing a person's looks. She bears a striking resemblance to Marilyn Monroe. His hands bear the impact from years of manual labor. Finally, the word bear is used when talking about reproduction in people, animals, and plants. The simple form of the verb is bear, the past tense is bore, and the past participle is born. Melinda bore 10 children before the age of 40. She can't bear any more children. When were you born? Birds bear their offspring in a nest. Some animals can bear hundreds of babies during their lifetime. Apple trees bear fruit in the fall. Tomato plants bear fruit in mid to late summer. Fruit-bearing trees are a good source of fresh food. Beat. You can use the verb beat to describe a victory over an opponent in a competition. He beat everyone. He beats anyone he plays. She has beaten her opponent. She has won against her opponent. The simple form of this verb is beat. The past tense is beat. The past participle is beaten. The word beat also means to hit. The man beat his wife and kids regularly until the police told him to stop. 
it's not a good idea to beat your children. Marcelina beat her rugs to get the dirt out. A man at the bar beat up another man. There are a few other ways of using this word. To make scrambled eggs, beat three or four eggs in a bowl, add a little milk, and then pour it into a frying pan. This song has a strong beat. I'm beat. This place is beat. Beautiful. The word beautiful is a popular adjective used to describe attractive people, places, things, activities, and the weather. We had beautiful weather last week. Chicago is well known for its beautiful art and architecture. Those flowers look beautiful. The Minneapolis skyline is beautiful at night. She is a beautiful woman. The word beautifully is an adverb. Elmer plays the piano beautifully. The house is beautifully landscaped. The cake was beautifully decorated. The word beauty is a noun. Have you seen Edgar's new car? It's a beauty. The beauty of Paris is evident throughout the city. The women of Colombia are known for their beauty. Become To become something or someone is to change. This word is often used for situations. The simple form for the verb is become. The past tense is became. The past participle is become. We all became hungry after a two-hour hike through the woods. The weather is becoming warmer now that it's March. Jill says she's becoming sick. She's been sneezing a lot lately. Once it becomes warm enough, we can plant some potatoes in the garden. Traffic in this area is becoming a problem. It's becoming clear to everyone that this is a problem. Their business has finally become profitable. The word become is often used as a person grows and matures. Sheila wants to become a doctor. Becoming a doctor is important to her. Bob is taking acting lessons in order to become an actor. Becoming a parent is a big change in a person's life. Tony and Linda became parents last year. When they found out they were going to become parents, they were a little nervous.
The word become is also used to express attractiveness or beauty. The dress becomes her. Her smile is quite becoming. His behavior at the party was quite unbecoming for a person in his position. It's unbecoming for a person in a business environment to use foul language. His conduct was unbecoming of an officer. Bed. A bed is a long, horizontal surface upon which people sleep. This word represents basic English vocabulary. It's time to go to bed. I have to go to bed. The children are in bed. What time did you get out of bed this morning? What time do you usually go to bed at night? Do you make your bed in the morning? Most people make their beds after they wake up. A twin bed is for one person. A double bed is larger than a twin-sized bed. A queen-sized bed is designed for two people. A king-sized bed can hold two or more people. A bunk bed is two twin beds connected, one on top of the other. The word bed is used for other purposes. A bedroom is a room where people go to sleep. Bedrock is the solid rock that's found under dirt, sand, and gravel. It's important for large buildings to be anchored into bedrock. A flower bed is a place where flowers are grown. Gardeners get their beds ready for spring planting in the fall or the spring. A bed bug is a very small insect that might be found in a person's bed. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. A person with bed head has messy hair, as if he or she just woke up. You've made your bed. Now you have to lie in it. Early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Beg. A person who begs asks for something. This is a popular word to use when something is desperately needed. The simple form is beg, the past tense is begged, and the past participle is begged. The man got down on one knee and begged the woman to marry him. The little girl begged her mother for some candy. The students begged the teacher for more time to finish the assignment. The driver begged the police officer not to give him a ticket for speeding. TV commercials beg for your attention. Dogs beg for food whenever possible. 
If you visit any big city in the United States, you'll see people begging for money. A person who begs for money is a beggar. Begin. When something starts, it begins. This word can be used for a person or a thing. The day begins when the sun rises. A novel begins on page one. The alphabet begins with the letter A. Mary's name begins with the letter M. At what age does a baby begin to walk? Most kids begin kindergarten at the age of five or six. When did you begin to learn English? Begin is an irregular verb, and the form of the verb changes depending on the tense. In the simple form, it's begin. The past tense is began, and the past participle is begun. Begin, began, begun. The class began 10 minutes ago. The movie hasn't begun yet. Yolanda will begin college in the fall. Peter is beginning to learn Spanish. When did their problems begin? The word beginning is a noun. The beginning of the novel was fascinating. Beginning a new life in another country is difficult. Scientists theorize that a Big Bang marked the beginning of the universe. Let's start from the beginning. A beginner is a person who does something for the first time. She's learning how to drive. She's a beginner. Don't be too critical of his abilities. He's still a beginner. I'm sorry my piano playing is so bad. I'm still a beginner. Few people want to be operated on by a beginning surgeon. It's preferable to have a procedure done by an expert with a lot of experience rather than a beginner. Behave. The word behave is a verb used to describe a person's actions and attitude. The simple form of this verb is behave. Past tense, behaved. Past participle, behaved. The students behaved well in class today. We expect everyone at the party will behave. You don't have to worry about anyone behaving badly. Everyone behaves when the boss is in the office. David's mother told him that if he didn't behave, she wouldn't take him to the park. Fatima was not behaving properly at the dinner table. Please behave. Please behave yourself. Please behave yourselves. Those people clearly don't know how to behave.
You can also use the word behave for an animal or a thing. My car has been behaving strangely lately. Rick's puppy doesn't know how to behave when it's in the house. Plants and trees behave according to the environment in which they grow. The word behavior is a noun. The boy's behavior is so bad he can't remain in school. His behavior is becoming an issue. The man's behavior is embarrassing. He embarrassed himself with his bad behavior. We were offended by the behavior of a rude couple on the plane. Beige. Beige is a color that is similar to tan. There are many different shades of beige. It can look almost white, almost yellow, or almost light brown. Beige is considered to be a neutral color, so it can go with just about any other color. This is one reason why it's a popular choice for a color in many American homes. Almost everything in Diane's living room is beige. The couches are beige. She has beige pillows on the couches. The walls are beige. The rug is beige. The pictures on the walls all have some beige in them. People also like to wear clothes that are beige. These pants are beige. You can wear beige with just about anything. Beige looks good with white, black, brown, or blue. Beige is an easy color to work with. Believe. To believe is to have an idea, to think, or to imagine that something can be true. The police believe they have the man who robbed the store. Tanya believes her son when he says he isn't lying. Do you believe in God? What do you believe in? I believe you can learn English if you really work hard at it. Haruna believed in ghosts when she was a child, but she doesn't believe in them now. At first, the people of the town believed the boy who cried wolf. But after a few false cries for help, they stopped believing him. Sometimes, Believe is similar to the word think. I believe this is your cell phone. It was on the table where you were sitting. They believe they have a solution to the problem. I don't believe we've met. My name is Paul. The noun form of believe is belief. Those people have very strong beliefs. 
their beliefs prevent them from doing certain kinds of work. What are your beliefs? Belong. The word belong is a verb that is used when describing the ownership of something. It's also used to describe relationships. The simple form is belong. The past tense is belonged. And the past participle is belonged. Do these things belong to you? Are they yours? The house on the corner belonged to a married couple with four kids. This book doesn't belong to me. It belongs to the school. She can't take that home if it doesn't belong to her. Cars don't belong in this area. You have to park somewhere else. Who does that little boy belong to? He belongs to the young woman in the red skirt. Those two belong together. To change belong into a noun, add ing to the end of it. Whose belongings are these? Are these your belongings? A homeless man is sitting in the street with all of his belongings. Belt. A belt is something that you wear around your waist. A man wears a belt around his waist in order to keep his pants up. Men and women wear belts that are fashionable. A belt goes through belt loops on a pair of pants. The belt is fastened with a buckle. There are other types of belts. A seat belt is worn by a driver and passengers in a car. A tool belt is worn by a person who does construction work. A person who is very good at karate earns a black belt. A conveyor belt moves things from one place to another. Bend. Something once straight, but then changed in the form of an angle, is said to be bent. The word bend is often used as a verb. The simple form is bend. The past tense is bent. And the past participle is bent. She's bending her arms and legs. Her arms and legs are bent. Can you bend at your waist and touch your toes? If your finger bends back too far, it might break. I bent a couple of nails as I was nailing them into a piece of wood. When the adjective bent is used, it usually means that something is disfigured or broken. The ends of a crowbar are bent. The bumper on Sheila's car looks like it's a little bent. Ted needs new glasses because the frame for the pair of glasses he has now is bent. A popular expression in the United States is bent out of shape.
it means that a person is upset or mad about something. Why is she so bent out of shape? Don't get all bent out of shape. Ahmed got bent out of shape when someone broke the driver's side mirror on his car. Benefit In addition to receiving a paycheck from work, many Americans receive benefits. Benefits take the form of bonuses, vacation pay, sick pay, a pension, retirement savings, etc. Benefits aren't exactly the same thing as receiving money, but they have value. They're a form of compensation. Victoria had a job that offered good benefits. When she lost her job, she lost her benefits, including health insurance. Health insurance is an important benefit that most people in the United States receive through their employer. What kind of benefits do you get at work? You can also use the word benefit as a verb when describing something good that happens. Hamza benefits from having a large supportive family. Students benefit from having access to new technology. This donation of $1 million is going to benefit a lot of people who need help. Her work greatly benefits the company that she works for. Elderly people are among the millions of Americans who benefit from the social security system. Bet. The word bet is used to express some opinion about the future. It's often associated with gambling or risking something of value. In these sentences, bet is a verb. The simple form is bet, the past tense is bet, and the past participle is bet. Tony bet $20 on a horse at the racetrack. Sandra likes to bet on the outcome of football games. How much would you like to bet? I'll bet you $10 your team doesn't win. Vince bet all of his money in a poker game and lost. When used as a verb, bet also means that a person has a strong belief that something is true. I'll bet the price of a gallon of gas will go up this summer. What do you want to bet it rains tomorrow during the game? They're betting on a better future in sunny California. In the next set of sentences and questions, the word bet is a noun. Tony placed a $20 bet on a horse. They made a good bet on the house they purchased. What kind of a bet do you want to make? Betting isn't allowed in here. That was a terrible bet. Beverage. A beverage is any kind of a drink. The word beverage is often used by hotels, restaurants, and cafes when referring to the different kinds of drinks that are available. However, you should know that in normal conversation, most Americans just use the word drink. Would you like a beverage? What kind of a beverage would you like to order?
beverages are listed towards the back of the menu. There are ice cold beverages in the cooler. A hot beverage is the thing to have on a cold night. A cold beverage tastes great on a hot summer day. The flight attendant pushed a beverage cart through the aisle of the plane and served the passengers. Bid. A bid is an amount of money that is offered in order to get something. If a bid is too low, it might not be accepted by a seller. If a bid is too high, the buyer might be making a mistake by offering to pay too much. To make a bid on anything usually requires knowledge and experience. A person who wants to buy a house makes a bid. I made a bid on a house and it was accepted. Our company is making a bid on a building and some land in order to expand its operations. People who attend auctions make bids on items that are up for sale. An auctioneer asks people to make bids. When bid is used as a verb, it's irregular. The simple form is bid, the past tense is bid, and the past participle is bid. Tony bids on stocks that he believes are a good value. He bid on a stock priced at $45 a share. He sold it the next week when it hit $50 a share. Over the years, Tony has bid on stocks that have made money and lost money for him. A lot of money was bid on a horse that lost its race. How much money would you be willing to bid on a house that you wanted to buy? The word bid is also used in circumstances when a person is trying to win a political office. Hillary Clinton is making her second bid for the presidency of the United States. Right-wing political parties in Europe are making successful bids for elected positions in government.